What is up guys, Dylan Ryan here, bringing you another episode on the campsite server. Hopefully you guys are having a mindtastic day today. I am having a great day. So I know in the last episode I said that I would be putting these videos out slowly and focusing mainly on EchoCraft and our Let's Play, but I was just so excited to play on this and I decided that we should go ahead and start episode two. Why not, right? So I have done a little bit in between episodes here and I have some stuff that I need to show you first that has been recorded before this intro here. So let me go ahead and show you that. And then what I want to do is start working on getting some better armor, tools, and weapons. So I think I'm going to go out and make a bunch of bookshelves and combine those with the enchanting table here. And I might even put an enchanting station over at the Enderman farm since there's not currently one there. And that would make it a lot easier on everyone. So let me go out and get a bunch of leather and also a bunch of paper to be able to make 15 bookshelves, maybe 30, depending on how I feel here. And then we can get to enchanting and make some of the best gear that we can get with diamond. And then we can start looking into the mods. So sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and jump into this episode. Man, this thing is absolutely amazing. There's a chair over there. Uh, oh, like this is, of course, a simple design. But once I have the resource and everything, we can make such big designs and everything. This thing is amazing. That's really cool. Like, I'm going to make automatically trains driving to people's bases, to stations, and all hooking up to the spawn station I'm going to build. I'm going to make a massive station. Yeah. And... Then I have just trains with wagons in the back where you can chill and sit down or move your animals <laughs> or villagers in, you know? Yeah. So people can just basically play infinite or, uh, or every 10 minutes a train will go or something, and that's going to be fucking awesome. Yeah, that's so wait. cool. Guys, I did find this everlasting beef here. And apparently with this, you can continuously eat on it. It does have a small cooldown. It's not very big, but it does have a small cooldown. But you can eat on this forever. And obviously, unless you lose it or something like that. But if I can maybe take, yeah, take some damage here and show you guys exactly how this works. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get our food down. Come on, food. There it's going. And there we go. So you eat it, and then it's just got the cooldown there. I'm not quite sure exactly what that is. Probably about 10 to 15 seconds, something like that. But that is really cool. We don't have to worry about processing food or anything like that as long as we have this. All right. Since we are over here at spawn, I do want to grab a couple things here. So does anyone have an ender chest by chance? All right, so I had to go back to my base to be able to get an ender chest because apparently there is not one anywhere around here. All right, let's uh, go ahead and go through this shop here. So it says two stacks equals 10 ingots. Okay, so that's food. We should be good on food. Um, that's food also. One book equals 10 gold ingots. Okay, so mending. That is what we need there. I think all of these are mending. Yeah, so we need quite a few of these. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then maybe a few extra. Okay, so I don't think I have enough gold here, but we will give what we can. Doesn't look like we can do that. So we can get five of them for now, which is perfectly fine. I will take that, and then I can go get some more gold and get a few more of these to be able to match the number that we need. All right, there we go. So I'm going to just throw these guys into here because we've got all of this armor and stuff that we need to go and try and enchant. All right, and I'm going to throw that right there. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and go up here. I also need to get some more rockets. I wish someone sold the rockets. That would be awesome. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. So I want that one right there. It is two diamonds per stack. So let's grab, I don't know, like four stacks, I guess. 
said two diamonds per stack. Um, yeah, four should be good. Actually, let's only get three. Yeah, let's only get three for now. All right, perfect. So there we go. And ultra rare twilight. Okay. Um, all right. So I need to get some more gunpowder. The best way, let's see here, to get gunpowder is there's a few different things things so uh gunpowder we can make it by that um cinder flower okay comes from netherrack in some of these grindstones okay so i think this is probably what we're going to tackle once we get all of our gear here so let me go ahead and head back over to the end and we can see if we can't put up an enchanting station and get all of our gear to where it needs to be. All right, guys, so I was going to go and do all of our gear and stuff and enchant it, but we are running really low on rockets, as you can see down here. So I kind of want to go ahead and start getting something set up here for some paper and for some gunpowder. So. If we look at paper here, we can use the sugar cane, but we can also do this pressing. We can look through this and see the different stuff here. We can do the pressing and one sugar cane will turn into one paper. Then we don't have to worry about doing the three here. We can also use this other stuff, but I think we can go into here. We can go ahead and look at the shaft. So that's going to take some andesite alloy. We can press A on that and it'll put it over here and bookmark it. So we're going to need some iron nuggets and we're going to need some andesite. Looks like we're going to need two of those. We're also going to need some andesite casings, which seems to also be fairly difficult here. Yeah, it looks like manual item application. We can put down some wood with an andesite alloy and maybe do that. Do we have any andesite in here? Really hoping we do, but I do not see any. All right, we got some andesite here. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit more iron and we'll throw this into here. Perfect. And let's go ahead and make some of these right here. Andesite alloys. We're just going to make a few of those. And I think if we put two of those together, we can make the, yep, the shaft there. Perfect. All right, let's grab a piece of wood put this down like so and then we can take one of these and throw it on top or something like that and there we go guys we've got enough of the bookshelves that is perfect all right and we're going to take this with us as well and we are going to get some ender pearls once we get over there so that we can make a few more of the ender chests. So let me go ahead and head back to spawn here or somewhere that's got a portal because we do not have one. And then I'm going to go to the end and get a couple of the ender pearls and then set something up so that we can have an enchanting table right there where we can get some XP. All right, guys, so it is looking like we've got a good bit of stuff here. We definitely need to go get some more mending books, but we have an extra pick here with Fortune 3. Also made one with Efficiency 5 and Mending. Then we've got a Silk Touch pick here as well with Efficiency 5. We made a really good sword here. It's got Fire Aspect 2, Sharpness 5, Knockback 2, Radiance 3, which says a chance to spawn a healing cloud around a target. Swooping Edge 3, Mending, Looting 3, and Unbreaking. That Radiance is actually pretty cool. If you come in here, you can see that I am actually getting some health here, so that's pretty awesome. Then we've got the Boots with Depth Strider 3, Cowardice 3. When at full health, you receive Strength Effect, which is that there. Protection 4 and Unbreaking 3. Then we got Protection 4 and Breaking 3 on the Leggings. Obviously, I'm Breaking 3 and Mending on the Elytra. And then, yep, that's a little weird, so we got to come into here and change that down like so. And we've got Protection 4, Respiration 3, Unbreaking 3, Aqua Affinity, and so heck yeah, there we go. We are pretty suited up now. There's obviously a couple other things that we could do, but for now, 
that should be fine. All right, let's go ahead and put all this up. I did put an enchanting station here. We do need to add, I guess, two more books into that. So um, probably what we could do is break that, break this. I did leave some more leaves here just in case stuff does break. All right, we can do that. And then we can put this there. And then let's make another bookshelf but we are still going to need one more bookshelf so i'll go off and get what we need for that here really fast and we can finish that up and there we go heck yes yeah, so that is all done perfect all right let's head back to the base i need to do a couple things here get some stuff together and then we are going to start looking into how to make gunpowder a lot easier nice so we finally found some zinc ore here after looking and looking and looking i had to ask uh since I wasn't finding it, I spent about two hours or so trying to find it, and I could not find it. And it happens that this doesn't spawn until like 5,000 blocks out from original spawn. So that's why I was not finding it. But the reason I brought you guys back in here is because I found something over here that is quite interesting. And I wanted to do this together. Uh, it looks like some sort of chest or something. I really hope it doesn't like blow up. Coral chest. Oh, sweet. Okay, so it's got a few different things in here. That is awesome. We'll just grab out some of the stuff. I don't need all of this. Uh, we'll grab that and that. There we go. But I do want this chest. That chest is pretty dang cool. Um, did I pick it up? It doesn't look like it. There it is. Awesome. Okay, so we got it. Sweet. So I've got a little bit of zinc here, but I would like to try to get at least a stack or two, and that way we don't have to come all the way back out here to get more zinc. But in the future, when we do, we'll definitely set up a nether portal or something like that to be able to get us out here a lot faster because this took a while to come all the way out here and find this zinc. So let me finish this up. And then we can head back to the base and try to work on some of the create mod to be able to get some gunpowder easier to be able to make rockets. Alright guys, so there's a bunch of these different chests all over the place. We've got like the deep slate and the coral. But I found a gold key in the deep slate chest there. And then I found this one. And the key says used to lock and unlock gold chests. So let's do that. And let's see what we got. Okay, it looks like we got some pretty good stuff here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kind of organize some stuff up here a little bit. And then let's see what we can get from that chest. Alright, let me just throw some stuff in here. All right, there we go. Should be good now. And we got some more ender pearls. Okay. Iron. Name tag. Got some more music discs. Already got a bunch of those. I think I already have these. No, I got something else. So I guess I can't put those on. We'll keep them anyway. Uh, used to lock and unlock void chests. Okay. Key fragment. Horse armor. Got some food here. And also some gold. And then we've got another key fragment here awesome and a gas tier cool so i do want to grab this chest if i can perfect all right and now we are going to be going crazy here okay um let's go down here and i'm not sure what we can do with these um looks like we can turn it into a suspicious key click on a chest to make it secret mimic oh that's cool okay all right sweet so i just kind of wanted to go over that with you guys i'm gonna keep on exploring here there's some more chests in this area and i'm gonna get a little bit more zinc so let me do that then we'll catch back up So I'm in here. I might have to open this up for you oh, since you're I'm tiny. small. Yeah, I'm small. So uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, so perfect, cute. Perfect. All right. So, <laughs> uh, so you've been looking for asparagus, right? Yes, I spent many, many hours looking for it. Okay. All right. So I've got you a little goodie box here. You can have that stuff. 
Check that out. See what you think. <laughs> That's awesome. That's super generous. But yeah, you this this is yours. Have you been in any big caves? You see these chests in here? There's a gold and a deep slate one. I have not seen any. I have not seen those. You haven't seen those? Here, hang on a second. Uh -huh. If you put those together and then you put it with, what is it called? It's called a suspicious eye. I'm not 100% sure where I got it from, but it gives you one of these. It's a really, really, it's the only one I got. It's a really weird looking key. And those keys open the different boxes. So like to open the gold one, you have to find a gold key and then so on and so forth. Like there's, I couldn't find huh. this one, but that one's a void one. I don't know, I was just curious if you had seen any of those chests or anything. I no. looked around and forever. Where you, and, and where did you uh, find those things? Um, Just underground. So I yesterday I spent about two to three hours looking for zinc, right? And I couldn't yeah. find it, couldn't find it. And it turns mm -hmm. out that it only spawns like 5,000 blocks out of the original spawn area here. Went straight out there and found it immediately. So <laughs> now i got a bunch of zinc. But uh, I ended up finding nice. all of this stuff out there as well. So I'm wondering if this only spawns out in the uh, the area past like 5,000 or something. Possibly, since it apparently comes from the probably chests mod. Just, yeah, I, I didn't even looked at it. I guess I could have just looked in the mod. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I found your, I can't remember where I told you that uh, swamp was, but there there is a pretty nice size swamp out there. That was the only one that I found, though. Um, I flew through it for probably about 15 minutes. That was the only one I found. That's super, super generous of you, and thank you so much for finding oh, yeah. this oh, yeah. Like no I problem. spent so many times. Uh, you want the shulker box back? No, 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 it's yours. You're good. You're good. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got a few shulker boxes in here, and then I just got... A bunch of diamonds. Um, if you look in this one right here, I just went out and mined a bunch of diamonds. So I'm I'm good nice. on stuff. I'm good on stuff. So. I've I've yet to find any diamonds while mining. Really? But I have been. But other people have been paying me diamonds in the wood shop, so I'm good. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, and we will catch up soon. Yep. All right. Bye. See ya. Nice guys. So we was able to help out one of our fellow campsite members here in. That is awesome. I'm glad we came across that asparagus. So I'm just here kind of just organizing and sorting stuff out. But I did go ahead and start working on getting the mechanism together to be able to turn the netherrack into cinder flour or cinder powder and then turn that into gum powder. So we've got three water wheels here with some water going over top of them using some trap doors just to hold it in place and then we've got a mechanical press and a shaft here to give that power and then a depot down at the bottom so that we can throw things on it and it will smash them up such as iron will turn into the iron sheets as you see here so i want to go ahead and get back into this so let's see here what i've got to do all right so I made one of these already, so the next step after that, let's see, we needed to make this. It looks like we need a few different things here. I don't think I have that middle piece. Um, yeah, I don't have this. This is, this is what I needed originally, so we need brass ingots, and to get brass ingots, we have to mix zinc with copper. So we're going to need a mechanical mixer and a basin. And then it looks like we're going to need um, some kind of blaze burner or something like that. So uh, let's see what we're going to need here. A cog wheel, andesite casing, and a whisk. So I do have a few things in here. Looks like I might have to make a, another casing, but that is all right. All right, let's go ahead and go into here. Cog wheel. We've already got one of those, I believe. Casing. How do we make the casing? That is the andesite alloy on the drip log. But can we just throw this here onto this and be done with it? Let's see. I don't think that's going to work. Strip all of these. And then we can do that. So we'll just right click on there. And get those casings good to go grab all of these up and we'll have some extra ones so that is really really nice 
and then we needed to make the whisk here which is some iron sheets and some more of the andesite alloy which i'm going to have to make some more of that so let's see do i have andesite in here i should have some andesite somewhere all right guys so instead of having all of our stuff outside i have decided to make a little space down here and we're going to put the water mills up back here in the back i think i might make a couple more of them but we need to get the stuff necessary to be able to use the mechanical mixer here the reason being we are going to need some brass ingots and we've got to have a mixer here to be able to combine the copper and the zinc. So we need the mixer. We also need the basin. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that. I think I already made the mixer. Um, but we need the basin. And then we've got this blaze burner here. So we're going to have to make one of these. And then we're going to have to get a blaze in there somehow. And that should make it to where we can start mixing some of those metals together to be able to continue on with trying to get everything together for the crushing wheel. So let me continue on with this a little bit. I'm going to dig this out some more and add in probably another two at least of the water mills here and kind of get some stuff set up, make a few more things, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what I've got. Hey, how's it going? So what are you having troubles with? Um, yeah, I'm having some troubles. So, um, I've got 10 water wheels. Um, they all got 320 SU. You're just having trouble with the RPM? Yeah, it's saying 20. And, I mean, I can only do one one of the wheels and it'll say 16. But if I do 10, it says 20. I, I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah, so you have to do a, a reduction in gear sizes to get a faster rpm so attach a shaft to it okay and get um, a bunch of small cog wheels and large cog wheels all right let's see okay i got 10 of the big ones 10 of the small ones so what you're gonna do is on the shaft that's coming out from your water wheel attach the large cog wheel at first to the shaft mm -hmm. okay gotcha and to the side you're going to get a smaller cog okay all right so now you should see the small one is spinning faster yeah 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 so how you keep doing that is not like on the side, but you know how the shaft sticks through the gear, the cog? Yeah. Attaching to the shaft, you can attach another larger cog wheel. And then Dude, go the back small with one? another. Yeah. Okay. Because it'll go at the same RPM as that small cog, cog wheel, yeah. which has gotcha. increased RPM right now. And then you'll reduce it again down to a on the side a small cog wheel okay yeah i'm getting 80 now okay that makes way more sense well guys i hate that we couldn't get more done in this episode but we got to hang out with a few of our friends here on the server some more so that is always awesome and we had some teaching and learning moments there because i am still kind of trying to figure out the create mod here but like I said, unfortunately, we are running out of time here, so I do want to wrap up the episode here, but for the next episode, we are definitely going to continue into the Create Mod, add in a bunch of machines, get a bunch of machines working, and get our lab down there running really, really well, so I'm excited for that. Hopefully, you guys are as well. Let me know down in the comment section below if you're liking this series and this mod pack. That really helped me out to know if I should keep cranking ranking out videos or if I should just slow it down and work on something else but that's going to do it guys I really do hope you enjoyed the episode today if you did please just hit that like button subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I put out another video that's going to do it guys and I will see you in the next episode this has been Dylan Ron and I am out